All right, guys. Well, I have here a 6L80 transmission that I'm diagnosing, and uh, it was supposed to be making a shutter noise kind of noise, and uh, he was trying to describe it to me. It was making like sort of some sort of a noise, and it was shuddering. Uh, and uh, they replaced, they put another converter in it. They took it to the dealer, thinking that it was a DOD, and. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm barely taking it apart and I'm about to uh, air check this because I noticed that the 3.5 reverse friction are kind of burn up a little bit and I'll show you right now. So I have my blow gun and I'm going to put some air on the 3.5 reverse circuit and I'm going to plug the hole like I always do. That's what I recommend for you to do. And you can see that this drum is cracked. You can see that right here, there's air escaping with fluid. And I'm barely uh, throttling this thing, uh, the air. So this drum is cracked. So let's check the one through fours. One through four, I have, I have not air checked it yet. And I'm getting everything all over the camera. It's holding pressure. So we got the one through four, three, five reverse, compensator feed, which is good. I'm just gonna put my hand over here because the camera's already getting all, and this is the compensator feed for three, five reverse, which is good. And we see here, let me rotate this this way. That way I can, with my thumb, I'll, I'll cover the hole, three, five reverse, just kind of look in this area right here yeah so this drum is cracked this drum is no good let's go ahead and uh open it up let me get a little pick right here right quick let me get you guys up a little higher up a little higher and uh let's see right there Go ahead and tear this drum down. I have not taken this clutches out yet. So this is 3-5 reverse. And they're not smoked, but you can see the discoloration on the steels. That it was getting hot. It was not holding properly. 1 through 4s are probably going to be fine because it's, it air checks. It air checks perfect like it's supposed to air check. Let's go ahead and remove those frictions. It gets a little slippery every now and then. And these frictions look good. They're kind of wore out though. One, two, three, four, five frictions on the one through fours. All right, so let's get this drum out of the way. I have not disassembled the whole unit yet. I haven't disassembled the pump. I had, I just took these two drums out, and that's that's what I, you know, I'm at so far. All right. Well, let's take our planet off. And as you see, the fluid don't look too bad. But I'm gonna. Well, I was gonna show you the pan, but I got the pan on. I usually put the pan back on to uh, to get the internals out like you always see me on other videos uh you know disassemble the 6l80s and this thing is moving or what well that's fine right there yeah okay let's check four five six let's see what they will see what it looks like four five six are burn as well yeah they're burn as well so you're in third gear, you're slipping in third, three, five reverse, you shift into fourth gear. And of course, I mean, this is your shutter right here. This is what you feel as a shutter. So that drum, this drum right here is no good, needs to be replaced. And uh, I guess that's it for now, or let me get you situated over here on the side and let's just finish disassembling this unit. I'm gonna put you guys on pause and get you out of the we're on the spot that you're at and I have no clue if the lens is already full of fluid but I mean there was a bunch of fluid squirting up 
All right, let me get you guys over there and uh, let's finish tearing this thing down. All right, guys, so it seems like this camera is going to try to flop all over the place because I got a uh, microphone stand and a, uh, a dial indicator uh, magnetic base over there. And I kind of did that rig to put you guys on the bench, you know, so you can see what the, what's going on while I'm working on the bench so I can make some videos for you guys on the bench. And I don't feel like grabbing the camera right now and putting it on the tripod, which it's over here on the side and it has a better view. So with the movement on the bench, that thing is going to be probably flopping around and I have to reposition that thing, you know, a few times, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, remove our overdrive clutch hub. Our uh, one through four clutch hub. And our three five reverse clutch hub. And let's get the big pliers. And here goes the camera's gonna move. Alright, let's see. Did it move? No, it didn't move. Alright, let's get this big snap ring out of the way. It looks like somebody was having trouble with this snap ring getting it in and out. It's all beat up on the inside hammering it in or something or hammering it out or something was going on here all right let's check our two six frictions and normally these frictions they don't they don't go out and the low reverse also they very rare that they do go out but actually these are new new frictions it's got new frictions for the two six okay so did i missed it or was it missing a bearing? Oh no, it's right here. Okay, there we go. Bearings there. All right, let's check our low reverse. Low reverse, they never do get burned as well, but for some reason, the friction wears out on these. And we're gonna need them. They, uh, you can barely see the lines now on, on this friction, so it needs low reverse frictions. All right, low reverse frictions, four, five, six, three, five reverse, actually a complete banner kit for this thing. All right, let's get this. Uh, planet out of here. And yeah, I just used the seal puller just to pull it out. Alright, planet ring gear right with output shaft and then this washer in the back. Let's get this things out of the way. Stand our case up like that so it'll finish draining. Move this thing out of the way. Check all of your teeth on your planet. It's very rare but they do get damaged. And uh, and also the bat washers, sometimes they get worn out. All right, so we got that out of the way. All right, let's get our eight millimeter socket. Let's disassemble our pump. So now we know they, we know the cause of the problem of this unit. Actually, I was gonna, they asked me if I could uh, turn off the DOD on this thing. And uh, before that was gonna happen, the, this Tahoe ended up at the dealership. They send it back, tell them that it was a transmission problem. Sure is, transmission problem. Let's go ahead and check our pump. And as you're going to see that, let's get that bolt that fell to the floor. Get your magnet, pick it up. Remove our stator support. Let's get our pressure regulator valve out, which 90% of the time, you guys remember that video I did vacuum testing a uh, 6L80 pump. And this, we're gonna put this uh, pin on a magnet that is not gonna get loose or lost. You won't lose it. Oh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Come on now. Oh, man. I hate to see this, man. I hate it. I, every time I see this, especially when the transmission is be, being worked on. Oh, man. So what do you see? You see a good, you see a good valve, right? You sure you see a good valve? Oh, what, 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 what happened there? Like the faces of the moon, man. The dark side of the moon, and then you got the bright side of the moon. This pressure regulator valve is completely worn out. So you know what this transmission needs. You're gonna need an overhaul kit with the pistons for the 456, a uh, compensator feed piston for this, a drum, and basically it's just needs a complete overhaul kit. That's, that's, I mean, I hate to say this, man, but this transmission was not rebuilt. But, anywho, all right, well, there you go. Uh, the main purpose of this video was testing this drum for leakage. Uh, that was the main purpose of the video. And yeah, this thing is just moving all over the place. All right, so I did not design this little contraption there to hold the camera for this shot is for the top shots. All right, anyways, 6L80, uh, three, five reverse and one through four drum leak testing. I guess you can call it that. All right, guys, up to the next one.